Alex, what is, what is this? What are they trying to do? So last year, Google uh, was the subject of a 4.8 billion euro fine uh, for the way that it essentially forced handset makers to pre-install Android onto their handsets. And now uh, the EU, European Commission said you can't do that. What happened when this, uh, when Microsoft was in uh, the firing line is that Microsoft just offered a random um, sort of selection of uh, internet browsers that it had to use as alternatives to Internet Explorer and they didn't pay anything. What Google's saying is that its search um, uh, engine rivals have to bid in order to be um, listed as an alternative on the default search engine rotor. And to me, that seems fairly brazen and not really what um, the European Commission had in mind. So what do you make of that? I mean, do you feel like they're saying we're still going to do what we want? Are they challenging it? Do you feel like the EC is going to sort of push back? Yes, essentially to all of the above. I feel you know this is uh, Google following the letter of the law, but certainly not the spirit. Uh, they were left up to their own devices to resolve this issue. Um, it is something which gives them a lot of competitive um, insight into how much a customer is worth to some of their rivals. Does that mean then that the European Commission pushes back and says, well, this is not acceptable? I would expect so. But that equally then buys Google some more time to carry on with the status quo and, mm. and continue to leverage its dominant position. And as we head into the autumn, which is when um, you know people, smartphone buying season really starts in the run up to, uh, to Christmas, it gets them essentially another year's worth of prominent position in handsets.